Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Naris Technologies and in my one of uh, video session I explained about uh, two analytical functions rank and dense rank. So, like in this session I am going to explain about uh, lag and lead. So, the two analytical functions lag and lead. So, one is lag, another one is lead. Okay. So, I will explain with one example that. So, before going to the example like what is this lag and what is this lead? How to use this? What is the syntax? Lag function returns previous value and lead function returns the next value. Okay. So, how to use this? So, the syntax of this is lag here you write expression and this is some integer value and here you give some default value. Next over here you write expression then lead also same thing syntax of lead is also same expression integer default value over here you write expression. Now, then uh, let us see one example. So, first we will see the lag, next we will see the lead. Then for example, so I am writing a query like this select name salary then lag lag. So, what I want to display is salary and I want to display the previous salary the which previous means. So, say I, I say 1. So, if you say 1 means previous 1 salary. So, if you say 1 means previous 1 if previous is there I want to display the salary if the previous is not there I want to display 0. So, what is 0 is default value as previous salary from EMP. Okay. So, I am displaying the name of the employee, salary of the employee and I am displaying so the previous salary. So, let me run this query and you see the output now. So, I am executing this query and see this. So, here so the what is the window is over then order by salary descending order. So, the first how the values are sorted the first the values are sorted in descending order after sorting the values in descending order. So, I am displaying the values what values I am displaying is previous salary. So, let me run this query and see this. So, here the first one Suppose here uh, see the heading I do not want to show this heading I want to change this heading to change this heading. So, I am declaring alias as previous cell. Now, now see this the first one the first employee salary is 5000 the first employee salary is 5000 next. So, what is this is like? So, this employee is having previous salary? No, this employee is not having previous salary. If the previous salary is there, display the previous salary. If the previous salary is not there, so then what I am asking to display? So, display 0, this is the default. So, if the previous is there, display the previous salary. If it is not there, display 0 for the first employee previous is not there. So, that is why it is displaying 0. Next employee salary is 3000. So, what is the previous salary is 5000. Next employee salary is 3000. What is the previous salary is 3000. Next employee 2975. What is the previous salary is 3000. Next employee 2850 previous salary is 2975. So, this is what lag function returns. So, what do you want to display? Lag means previous. I want to display salary. 
which salary previous one salary if the previous is not there what do you want to display I want to display 0. So, when this is executed first the values are sorted in descending order the employees records are sorted in descending order and it is showing the previous values. So, like you will get a doubt what is the advantage what is the use of this okay, na, lag function where it is useful. If it is employees data okay, like it is showing the previous salary, but where it is useful then for example, suppose then so every organizations what so announces quarter 1 results, quarter 2 results, quarter 3 results, quarter 4 results they announce uh, okay, uh, quarter 1 revenues, uh, quarter 2 revenues, quarter 3 revenues like this. For example, see quarter revenue okay, then quarter 1 revenue is for example, 100 crores, quarter 2 revenue is suppose 200 crores and quarter 3 revenue is 150 crores and quarter 4 revenue is suppose 250 crores like this. So, companies announcing their quarter results quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3 results revenues. So, along with this revenues okay. So, here for comparison for analysis I want to display the, the current quarter results with previous quarter. So, that is useful for a comparison like previous the previous revenue okay for example for this 100 previous is not there then i want to display 0 for this 200 what is the previous quarter revenue is 100 crores for this 150 for the third quarter what is the previous quarter revenue is 200 and for this 250 what is the previous quarter revenue is 150 crores so how this is useful this is useful for analysis comparison so that you can compare current quarter uh, uh, revenue with previous quarter. You can compare current quarter revenue with previous quarter. So, this is useful for analysis. Okay. So, this is what the lag function returns. Like if you say previous uh, for example, if you say 2 year then it will show the previous 2 salary. If you show 1 year the previous 1 salary. If I say 3 year previous 3 salary then like suppose like what is lead this is lag and what is lead is lead returns next value okay lag function returns previous what lead returns lead returns next value so instead of using lag i am using lead lead now let's see the let's see the output so execute this query but here instead of saying previous i am saying next instead of saying previous I am saying next. Now, see this here for the first employee. So, what is the salary is 5000 and what is the next employee salary? The next employee salary is 3000. So, because lead function returns next value. So, what is the next value to this 5000 is 3000. What is the next value to this 3000 is 3000. What is the next value to this 3000 is 2975. What is the next value to 2975 is 2850 like this it will show what next value. So, suppose you want to compare the current employee salary with previous employee then use lag. You want to compare the current employee salary with next employee then use lead. So, for this so the last one the last employee salary is 950, but this employee is uh, there is no next employee. So, the next one is not there. So, when the next one is not there then what uh, lead function returns is 0 because what the default value said 0 then returns 0. If the next is there returns next value if next value is not there returns 0. So, that is all. So, this is the difference between lag and lead function. So, what you learn how to what is lag what is lead and how to use this function and where exactly it is useful. So, thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe to Naresh IT.